what's going on guys so I've got a weird one for you today we're gonna be seeing what happens when you put a floppy disk into the PS5 so first of all let me actually show you this floppy disk so I'm sure like half the people watching this video have never actually used a floppy disk or never seen a floppy disk and basically it's like a it's like a thumb drive um, but you know it was used in like the 90s I think um, you know I used it a little bit when I was super young but I really have not ever used a floppy disk much that I remember and it, it basically holds an extremely small amount of data. Let me show you the packaging. So I bought like 10 of them like a year or two ago. And it holds 1.44 megabytes, which if you're familiar with data at all, that's an extremely small amount of data. Uh, you can't even fit like a, a normal picture on there, like a high definition picture won't even fit on here. Um, so you can only fit extremely small files like text files and super grainy pictures, that sort of thing. And so there's two different ways we could do this. First off, we could put the floppy disk in the disk drive of the PS5, but I don't think that's a good idea. So I actually have a floppy disk drive reader. Uh, so as you can see, it's made by a company that I cannot pronounce. But basically, you put your floppy disk in here, like so, and then you plug it into the USB port. And I actually did a little bit of research on the PS5 and how you can plug in external hard drives. And I believe it told me that I cannot plug into the USB-A port right here on the front. I think I have to plug it into the back. There's a couple of other USB-A ports. So when we try it, we're going to try to plug this thing into the back of the console and see what it does. But before we get to that, I want to show you what's actually on this floppy disk right now. I put some files on it like, I don't know, a year or two ago. And I have my big fat Windows computer right here so we can see what's on it. And you may have just heard, but this thing is really loud. <laughs> I don't know how the data reading works in there, but it's, it's a very loud process. So hopefully you can see this screen good enough. Uh, but yeah, there's the floppy disk drive. So we're going to go ahead and double click on it. And guys, it's extremely slow. I have some random files on here that I put on here a while back. So I have a JPEG file, an MP4 file, and two text files. So the first one, Power Armor, um, kind of random from like two years ago. And it's just, a, it's just a picture of this Fallout 76 Power Armor edition. I don't know why I put that on there, but I did. Um, but as you can see, it, it takes a while to load. And I'm trying to click on this MP4 file now, and it's like not even letting me click on it. And yeah, it's like 200 kilobytes. And guys, just look how slow it's taking to load, or how long it's taking to load. And I can't even really play it, like it just won't play. I can go part way through it and yeah, I can see that part of it, but it just, it won't play. <laughs> That's how slow it is. And the thing is extremely loud. So I have a couple text documents, pretty straightforward. One says subscribe and Maybe it'll load eventually. There it goes. And it says subscribe. And then I have this other one called True Text. Let's see what that's got on it. It says Game Boy Color is the best console of all time. So there's no lies there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, guys, this thing is extremely slow. It takes forever to load. Pretty crappy. I don't recommend using this. But let's go ahead and see what happens when you put it in the PS5. All right, guys. So I went ahead and stood this thing up vertically so we can plug this thing in better and actually see what's happening. So let me go ahead and eject the floppy disk and we'll stick that in once we plug it in. All right, so let's see if we can plug this thing in here now. For some reason the port is like extremely tight, so I'm probably gonna have to hold the other side of the console while I do this. There it goes. So as I, as soon as I plugged it in, this floppy disk drive made a weird noise. Let's go ahead and put the floppy disk in. And Nothing shows up on the screen, but I'm thinking I have to go to this external storage screen and see if it pops up there. All right, so go over to settings and storage, extended storage. And I think it's trying to load it up now because I clicked on extended storage and it's doing something. Except it stopped. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. It like lets me click on it and then my cursor disappears unless I press back. That's odd. Maybe it'll show up somewhere on here. Yeah, there's a spot where I can act back up storage, so let's try to do it from there. Maybe data transfer. That's the wrong thing. Backup and restore. Backup. USB drive isn't connected. What? Clearly I have a floppy disk drive right here. If the PS5 doesn't accept floppy disks, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I love how you can load an error code on the PS5 and it just goes to a blank page. Um, hmm. Well, let's go back to storage again. That's weird that it does that. Let me try to unplug it and see if it does the same thing. So it's unplugged now. And yeah, I still want to click on that. It does the weird thing. 
Let's try to plug it into the front of the system now. All right, so we're going for the front now. Got my USB A port. Let's see if we can plug it in here. There it goes. Oh, it showed me that orange light for a minute. It actually disappeared, but let's go back to our storage now. And... Oh, there it is, dude. <laughs> there it is. What do they call it? T-E-A-C-V-O dot O. 377 kilobytes out of 1.18 megabytes are used right now. Oh, dude, can we actually, ex we can make this, we can form format this as extended storage. Okay. So you can't use the extended storage drive, or you can't use the extended storage drive with the current connection method connected to the USB type A port on the rear of your PS5. I just did that and it didn't show up. Oh, that's probably our limitation is this thing is way too slow. <laughs> Like it's, I don't know what the re read and write speeds of this thing are, but it's extremely slow. And this thing is telling me to connect to the super speed port on the back, which obviously did not work when I tried that. Oh man, I thought we were actually gonna be able to use this for a second. Let's try to plug it into the other port on the back that I did not plug into. All right, so we're back on the back, and before I think I used the bottom port, so let's try the let's try the top port this time. All right, so I gotta do this thing again where I sit the camera down while I plug it in because it's so tight. And. Oh, it's doing more. It's doing more this time. It might show up. There it is. Oh, yes. Let's do it. Same thing as before. And... Oh, man. <laughs> so we actually were able to get it to show up on the back. Can't format this USB drive as extended storage. Use, USB, use a USB drive that satisfies the following conditions. Supports super speed USB. I don't know what, US, I don't know what super speed is, but I'm assuming it's like USB 3.0 or, or faster. Uh, capacity of 250 gigabyte minimum, a terabyte maximum, and directly connected to the PS5. So, so it is connected directly to the to the uh, PS5, but obviously it is not 250 gigabytes. It's only 1.44 megabytes, <laughs> and uh, super speed. I don't know what speed that is, but it's definitely not super speed. It's like ultra slow speed. Um, but yeah, that was actually pretty cool. I'm glad it showed up. I was worried for a minute that it just wasn't going to show up at all. But um, it was a little bit sketchy at first when I was able to click on extended storage, but nothing showed up. So yeah, it's cool that it shows up. I just wish it actually let me format as extended storage, but obviously we do not meet all the requirements, but you know, at least it shows up. So you guys can try this at home too if you want to. You want to plug in your, your floppy disk to your PS5, go right ahead. Um, not going to be too successful, except you can see what they call it. I don't know why it's called a TCVO.O, but yeah, kind of cool. You can plug in a floppy disk to your PS5 and it actually does show up. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know down in the comments what other things you want me to try with my PS5. You know, I'm, I'm always willing to try anything except for, you know, breaking my PS5. At least I don't want to do that right now while the console is so, so limited. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you like the video and hope you have a great day.